If you're in a situation in which you're wondering why private money lenders, private equity partners won't invest their, their hard-earned cash with you, then guess what? You found the right video. Hey Daniel, key in the intro, pull for board. Hey, how's it going, friend? My fellow investor, I'm Juan Pablo. Now on this channel, we always cover the three most important pillars to financial freedom, which is, or which are, <laughs> excuse my vernacular, personal finance, funding, having a repeatable source of investment capital, and last and certainly not least, real estate investing in multi-unit and multi-family properties. So if you're new to the channel, and if you want more information about how you can become financially free, just make sure you like and subscribe to this channel, to this video, so that way, Google the algorithm can do its thing, providing you with additional material to help you along your journey towards financial freedom. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the topic. All right, so we're, we're discussing here uh, three reasons now. And number one reason why private money, whether it's a lender or equity partner, someone who's either going to lend you the money and wants to return, or someone who's going to invest with you because they want to reap the benefits of the performance of that asset, right? And the reasons why they won't do it, here's the number one reason why. I'm going to be a little tough, all right? So forgive me if I, if I rub you the wrong way, but this is the reason why. Private money won't invest with you because you won't invest in yourself. Right, so just think about it. Uh, the life is similar to like a mirror, right? You, 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 it's reflected back to you. So if you're in that situation in which you don't even invest in yourself, meaning you don't spend money in regard to improving your skill sets or your resources or your human capital, because there's certain skill sets that are needed to be a, a really good investor, especially an investor that. Do those syndications or limited partnerships in which you're investing with other people. And some of those skill sets are required, such as uh, negotiations, sales, knowing the real estate investing ins and outs, how to, how to pitch something, right? All of these skills are important skill sets. They're not necessarily hard skill sets, but they're soft skill sets that are needed. And being that you never invest in yourself to that degree, most private money people, whether lenders or partners, won't invest with you. So you first and foremost have to invest in yourself. You have to invest in this, right? And, and it goes beyond listening to a podcast here and there, or watching a YouTube video here and there, or reading a book every so often, attending a, a live event once a quarter. It's, it takes more than that. It takes consistent effort of investing yourself in particular areas in which you need to improve upon. So that way, private money, lenders or partners, can feel confident and comfortable with investing with you. Now here's the, the, the bad side of this, right? If you fail to invest in yourself, then you will attract that, that no one else will want to invest with you either. But if you invest in yourself, then people want to invest in you too. Right? It's like what goes around comes around. You attract what you are and who you are. So if you're a person that's always like, you know what, I'm going to pay for the learning. I'm going to pay for the training. I'm going to pay for the mentorship. Because I know that when I invest in me to improve myself as a person, to improve myself as an investor, to improve myself as a businessman, whether it's soft skills or hard skills, then I can expect for others to want to invest with me as well. Now, I do have a video recommendation that talks about this a little bit in depth. I do have a podcast, so if you just check out the, the, the link below, and I share with you about power, right? And it's about being in a position of power. So just check the, the video below in the description so you can learn more. Now, here's the second reason why private money, lenders or partners want to invest with you, and it's this. You tell them what you want and what you're looking for without understanding what they want and what they're looking for. It's all about, what's it called, WIFM, what's in it for me, right? Uh, in order to, and this goes back to the first step, right, about investing in yourself. Let's say sales, for instance, right? In order to sell someone on an idea, on a product, on a program, 
or just to sell someone on an investment opportunity, you have to position your pitch that makes it beneficial to them. So it's important to understand their problems, their needs, their wants, their desires, their goals, and so forth. And it's not necessarily important to share what you're looking to get out the deal. Naturally, that will come up. Of course, the partners or the private money are going to uh, ask you what you want out of the deal. And of course, they know that you want their money. That's a given with a particular set of terms involved and rates involved. But in order to sell them on partnering with you or lending money to you, you do have to stress the importance of let me understand them. Let me understand what they truly want and show them how partnering with me will be the best thing since sliced bread. Not because of me, because I'm so great and awesome, but because of I understand your needs. I understand what your values are. And being that you have something that's a value, let's say capital, you lack something that is also a value, which is the know-how. So let's make this a partnership. You bring the capital, I bring the know-how, I bring the connections, I bring the competency, I bring my time to the table, and the only thing you need to do is bring a few, bu a few extra dollars, a few bucks. And that way it'll be a match made in heaven. So that's the second reason, right? You just have to understand the other person sitting across the table from you. And when they feel, when they feel understood and listened to, then that's where the magic happens. And then they start asking you questions about, so what's the return? So tell me more about the numbers or when do we get started? All right? So that's the second step. Now the third reason why private money won't invest with you is this, no credibility package. And I fell into that issue before I uh, discovered what a credibility package is and how to create one, even if I didn't even have all the credibility, right? So before I created the uh, credibility package, I realized I was facing a lot of uh, negative feedback from investors. And this is the feedback I got. I would say, yes, I, 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 want to, I want to partner with you. You know, I want you to bring the money to the table. You can have equity, I can give you, uh, it could be a loan, you get interest or what have you. And then they started asking me questions about credibility. I didn't know how to answer them. Plus, I didn't have a credibility package. So they caught me off guard. And being that they're, they're smart people, now these are people that have money, right? So being that they caught on that, oh, this person lacks the credibility, you know, because they seem to be unprepared. This person doesn't have a credibility package. This person's not talking that talk. So, hmm, let me think here. So what you're saying, Juan Pablo, is that you want me to give you my money so that you can experiment with it. Hmm. Being that you lack the credibility. How does that sound? Uh, how does that sound on my behalf? Does that sound smart? Right? If, if I'm, if I'm going to be experiment, if you're going to be experimenting and I'm, I'm only experimenting, then it doesn't make sense to put my hard earned money with you because at least I'm experimenting with my own money and you're not. And I actually have a video recommendation for that as well. It's, a, it's another podcast episode it's called Plan. So you want to make sure you plan things out thoroughly. Okay, so you want to be prepared because if you're reaching out to private money, whether they're partners or lenders, you want to make sure that you have a credibility package, even if you don't have all the experience, even if you haven't closed on a deal. But it's all about the presentation. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, hopefully, you found value from this video. And I actually have an additional training for you. So if you'd like to learn more about real estate investing, especially in multi units, OPM, other people's money, creative financing, and the most profitable markets then check the link below in the description to learn more. As always, guys, this is to your success. Getting dry in <laughs> my throat. But as always, guys, this is to your success. Continue to earn passively, live passionately. Peace.